Last year, I did a video on a very slick tool called Pieces, which allows you to store code snippets, among other things. And that is actually what we're looking at here, right? So this is Pieces, and you may have already used this before, but here, if you have a code snippet that you want to keep track of, maybe you want to use it in another project, you want to have one store essentially for all of your code snippets, you can add that to Pieces. And they also have the Copilot chat. So here I can chat with an LLM, right? So here I can say new chat and they give me some suggested prompts here. So let's talk about the Stripe invoice payment intent API. And here I can chat with an LLM. And so here I see a code snippet. And then if I want to do this, I can say save to pieces and it will store that code snippet in that list with all the other snippets I've stored, right? It's right here now. And it will immediately add all this context as you add snippets two pieces and so their ai is automatically enriching this with all this metadata and it even allows you to take a screenshot of let's say a youtube video for example let's say i like this code snippet about metadata in a next.js app i want to keep track of that i want to come back to that later so i can take a quick screenshot and now go back to pieces here and i can click and drag this code snippet as an image here into pieces and pieces will automatically do some nice ocr and extract the code from there we can click on view as code and it has properly extracted the code from there. I can change the text here next to as metadata. And now if I want to learn more about that, I can go back to that copilot again and I can start chatting about that with the copilot. All right, so basically a very powerful store for code snippets and also very seamless way of adding those code snippets as part of your developer workflow. They have a browser extension and they even have a VS code extension as well. So pieces is already in the places that you're working as a developer. So very seamless tool that fits nicely in your workflow. All right, so that is already very powerful, but they actually have a really amazing new feature here called live context, which I want to show you in this video, All right? So pieces is sponsoring this video, but it really feels like they have something here that can be really uh, beneficial for your workflow as a developer. All right, so let me show you how this works. So the live context, I have already enabled that. We can set it up, but it's very easy. And the idea here is that you just go about your normal developer workflow. We don't really have to do anything, but let's say I'm a developer, I'm browsing around on GitHub. So I did a tutorial last year about a developer portfolio website and I'm browsing around here because maybe I want to update this. So I'm going to go to my issues here. I open this up here because I want to see the issues that people have here. And I'm just browsing around here, just checking out what's going on here so I can fix those issues for the updated version. But now let's say I have 20 other tabs open and I'm getting distracted with something else, or maybe it's late and I'm going to close my laptop and next day I come back. And now what I can do here, here in pieces, I can say live context on, and actually they give, they give me a great suggestion here. What was I doing recently? on github and so i'm gonna ask pieces here what i was doing so it can bring me up to speed again all right and you can see here it actually knows i was looking at this portfolio website repository and it even gives me the issues that are in there so i can ask even more I, what were the issues people had with the portfolio site uh, let me actually close the suggestion once here so i'm just gonna chat here and the pieces copilot can actually uh, give me the issues that people had so this is pretty magical right i don't even have to open up a website i don't have to copy and paste some url right? maybe you were using some other llm and you have to copy paste the url or something like that but here it was automatically captured for me right so i would say this is pretty innovative i have not seen this anywhere before usually you have to like it's very cumbersome you have to copy and paste or you have to take screenshots um, but this is something that i have not seen before so kudos to the pieces team and this is an llm so i can go even further i can say things like we can see that there's an issue here with with the staggered animation so we can ask the llm create a draft to answer the first issue about staggered anime. Right, so I can already ask LM immediately, just create a draft already, because I kind of know what I want to answer, but I don't want to type it out completely myself. And you can see I don't even have to, because here I already get a very good starting point. Right, so pretty sophisticated. Right now, I'm talking with an LLM here, and you can see here, I can even pick the LLM I'm using here. So here they have some OpenAI models. So I'm using the latest one as of recording, that's GPT-40. You have all these other options. These are all in 
the cloud, you can also download an LLM to your computer and run everything on device, right? So here you can make a decision, depends a bit on how much space you have available and how powerful you want it to be. But let me actually show you some other use cases as well, right? So Pieces calls this like a work stream. So as I'm working, as I'm browsing around GitHub or documentation, right, doing some research, or reading up on a new package. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a brand ambassador for Kind. It's a paid sponsorship, but I think it's a wonderful solution for authentication. And But let's say I'm new to this. I don't know anything about Kind, and I wanna see how they do authentication. So here, for example, I would go down here to protecting routes, right? I wanna see how can I protect my route in a Next.js app with Kind. Right? So in practice, as a developer, you would just spend some time here to read through documentation. Okay, now later, right, maybe the next day, or maybe you get distracted with something else, or maybe you have to fix some issue in your code first, but now it's time to get back to authentication and you wanna know how to protect the route, right? So here I can just ask, I need to protect a route with Kind. And maybe you remember a little bit, right? So I believe it was something with a ways is authenticated, maybe something like that. Maybe you remember something, but maybe you don't. Right? You can just ask the PCS Copilot here. And here I get a nice code snippet and how to protect my route here on the client with Kind. Might wanna save this as a code snippet as well. I think that's a good idea as well. The benefit of this is I don't have to dig into some documentation website to find the exact thing I need because that's already been captured for me. I can just start chatting. I don't even have to pass a URL. I don't have to copy paste anything. It was automatically captured. And so pieces for developers, the whole idea is that it tries to fit in as seamlessly as possible into your developer workflow. Now let me show you something else. You know, it's a new day. You know, there's a bunch of things you could do. We can just ask, what should I do next? Because it can maybe already guess what you should be doing based on what you've been doing at the end of last day, right? So the last work stream. So here you can see, I get a great suggestion already again, talking about how I can start protecting my app here with the kind authentication, even giving me step-by-step -step, uh, suggestions on how to do that. Now, actually what I also sometimes have is I have 20 tabs open and there is one very specific one I'm looking for and I accidentally close the whole window. I don't know why I have this sometimes, I, but I just generally misclick sometimes. It will be like, oops, I just closed all of the tabs, right? all of those valuable tabs that I've been searching for. Pieces captures my workflow here. I can just ask accidentally closed window tab or tabs were in there. And here it will actually give me some suggestions on which ones were in there. So it found that the Next.js uh, docs website was indeed part of that. It gives me some other suggestions as well. Classifying it as a new tab in Google Chrome, it was actually the Byte Grant Portfolio website on GitHub. So by just seeing this, I would know what it was again and I would have my memory refreshed. Right? It's basically like having really good memory. All right, so now what about coding itself? Let's say we do have a Next.js app and maybe we are running into some issue, maybe a bug, maybe hydration errors, but let's say we, we have some error. Right? So let me actually throw an error here just to show you how that will look like. This is a test error. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this error and I'm gonna run this app. Okay, we need to actually go there to trigger the error. So now it's gonna compile that route and we see an error here. All right, so here we have an error. I'm just basically letting pieces take a look at it, right? Maybe open up this window here so that pieces can take a good look, all right? So now, of course, what we can do is with pieces, I can just say, hey, what's that error about? What's that error about? I'm not specifying which error. I'm not saying where it's coming from, but you can see it knows exactly what I mean. And very importantly, I don't have to copy and paste anything, right? So I don't have to copy some strange error. I don't have to awkwardly copy some strange error here and paste it somewhere. It was automatically captured for me, right? That's, that's, that's really innovative, I think. Right, but you can see here, it, it knows exactly what I want and it gives me the way to resolve that. Right, so I'm zoomed in here a little bit so you can see it easier. It's showing me perfectly fine how to fix the error, which is of course by simply removing this error, this this throw new error statement. Right, so I think this is the most seamless way that I've seen debugging in code during coding so far. Okay, so let's say we fix our mistake and we have our page here. Now it's not only debugging, there's many other things we can do. So this is the home page. Let's see what else we have here. So we have some CSS file here. Maybe uh, we wanna do something here. Maybe we have a CSS issue and we have other things as well, right? But now I closed it again. But now let's say, oh, I actually wanna remove the dark mode in my Next.js app. So here, uh, how do I remove dark mode 
in the Next.js app I'm building. Right, I can just ask this and because it can see that I'm building here, it should be able to give me some really tailored suggestions here. And if I scroll up here, indeed, you can see that it suggests that I remove this from that CSS file that we were looking at, right? So indeed, if you remove this from the CSS file, remove the dark mode. So it also allows you to improve your app by ch just chatting with an LLM essentially. And since it's capturing your work stream, can tailor it to a very detailed level. And very seamless because again, I don't have to specify much. I don't even have to reference exactly where I don't have to copy paste anything. So last thing I quickly want to show you as well is, for example, if you're chatting with other people, you may have dozens of threads open. Um, but here in this Discord, for example, I run a small Discord server for my course. So I have a moderator here and I've sent some messages to the moderator when they should ban certain people, right? So some conditions for that. But you can imagine in the real world, you have a lot of conversations going on and you forget exactly what's going on with some people. I can also ask, what did I tell the mod people should be banned right so now i can just ask my pieces copilot here and it can show me exactly what i said right so i don't have to open up discord find the specific chat uh, which is very annoying that context switching is very annoying when you have to flip through all those tabs and log in everywhere right so this uh, copilot i think is very powerful and it's not just an it's not just chatting with an llm this llm this copilot is actually grounded in your personal workflow right? that's why it's called live context and it's powered by what pieces calls the workstream pattern engine you don't have to copy paste code or urls you don't have to explain the context so i think really innovative and i'm really excited to see the other use cases that people come up with so i know a lot of you are actually interested in trying out new ai tools so this is maybe a tool you want to try out you can find a link in the description and I'm curious to hear what you think of this live context feature. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks to Pieces for sponsoring this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.